and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be doing the level 68 samurai quest. And as always, hello from Mifri. So, we are here at um, 1388 in Kugane and we need to talk to Makoto, so let's talk to her. The quest is called The Hunt for Ugetsu. Makoto has tidings regarding Ugetsu's whereabouts. So, uh, great tidings Mifri, we've ascertained the location of Ugetsu's hideout. Captain Kongo has the details. A moment, if you would. Okie dokie. Cutscene. So, Mifri, you are welcome. Um, we... I should, should just say welcome, but whatever. We scoured uh, Shinden's quarters and what should turn up among his possessions but missives he received from Ugetsu. They point to a certain ruin in Yansha. Now, word of Shiden's demise will have already reached Ugetsu, and he must assume that we will track him down ere long. But he will not, cannot run. To do so after losing his right hand would cost him much of the momentum he has painstakingly gained. As I see it, two choices remain to Ugetsu. He will await our coming, or he will bring the fight to us. Either way, the stakes are high. As you know, Ugetsu is a peerless swordsman. Only you who bested Jindan and perhaps myself could stand a chance against him. As captain, my place is here in, at the barracks. While I hold fort, I bid you and Makoto journey to Yansha, there to hunt down Ugetsu. I pray, uh, sorry, I shall pray for your safety and success. If instead the rogue should show himself there, rest assured I will give him a rousing welcome. Yansha lies upon the mainland across the Ruby Sea. We will first make for Namai, a small mountain village, and fence go after Ugetsu and his cohorts. Okay, so let's go to Namai. Why not? Do, 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 Now the good thing is, is I finally unlocked flying in all the zones. Only took me about three months, but we got there in the end. So getting from quest to quest location should be very easy, very fast. Like, oh my god, he can fly. A flying wolf is amazing. And if you want to know how and where all the locations are for the A for currents, and I do have visual guides. Anyway, so the ruin serving as Ugetsu's hideout is near. I shall scout on ahead. Meanwhile, pray scour the area for insurgents and tend to them. Okay. So let's do it. Let's go this way. There's a mountain in the way. Let's fly over it. If we can. Yeah. That's one of the privileges of flying. <laughs> the flying speed is really, really good in this game. It's very fast. Okay, going down and down and down. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, we have a fight. Because it's an open world fight, I'm going to have my Chocobo assist me. I don't need it, but it's just for safety. Because it could also heal. Quite a lot of health, considering. Now, um, I am actually using still level 60 gear, the Shire gear 260 set. Sorry, 270 set. But um, I do have... What's it called? I do have it, the uh, like a lot of monk gear saved up. So I should be jumping straight to like 317 or something as soon as I hit 70 on Samurai. Which is good. Okay, so survey... Defeat the enemy. Okay, there's obviously more enemies in this area. So let's do it. Okay. That way just fine. Okay. Might as well 
spend all this. Aha! So that's that done. Next. Samurai is so overpowered in terms of DPS. You just charge up your big attack and then boom, you see like a third of its health just disappear. I've never seen such big boosts before. Generally I'm not bothering with the AoE skills in this, so that's the point. Well, we have our Chocobo, so... Even when he's nearly dead... I'm gonna waste the, um... Midra Suzetsu, I can't pronounce it on him. So it's a waste to do it on a mob that's with such low health. Especially when it takes a while to charge up. Okay. Are we done? We're done. So let's rejoin Makoto. In case you're wondering, this mount is the Fenrir that you buy for 1 million MGP from the Gold Saucer. So, Ugatsu is nowhere to be seen. Uh, then that means... Ah, uh, he's on his way to Kugane to pay your captain a visit. <laughs> so, can we preserve? We must hurry back. Okay. So, we've no time to waste, Mifri. Let us hurry back to Kugane. Let's go. Oh, nice. So, she teleports us there. That's nice. It's a nice sword he has. Rip. Not the captain. No. Yeah, high stance is not that good. Forgive me, I was too weak. They not played, Neo. So, the Setsugumi is yours now. You must finish. Ugh. Rip. So, well, well, for a moment I doubted my eyes, but it really is you, uh, Kagetsu. I hadn't expected to see you in the Seitsugumi uniform, dear sister. The plot thickens. It's like, why are you waving that thing around? That stance, yes, the very picture of the master himself. So, you are... Uh, Musose's final pupil, and the samurai who felled Shiden. That's right. <laughs> well, we meet at last. Ugetsu at your service. Like you, I trained under Musose, and like you, I was made to walk his absurd path. We are practically brother and sister. It's a shame then that we stand on opposing sides. Yeah, because he has a, he's on side with his sister right now, his actual sister. Hingashi has known peace for too long. Her leaders have grown soft, and they spend their days in decadence. Their existence is a blight, one that must be burned out with the fires of re revolution. To kindle this fire, I bade Shiden assassinate the Taro, but thanks to you and yours, the attempt ended in miserable failure. 
Till now we have kept to the shadows, but the time is past. No few people share our vision, and by bringing them into the fold, we shall have the strength to face the Bakufu openly and defeat it. Removing your captain was the first step in this endeavour. With him gone, the good men and women of the Zexagumi may choose with their hearts. If there are any souls here who would join our cause, we welcome you with open arms. The offer stands to you, uh, Gagetsu, my sister pupil. You will not create a new world with me. Will you not create a new world with me? Okay, sorry, I said that wrong. Damn it. <laughs> Mifri's annoyed at my reading skills. So create, you can create naught with the edge of a blade. Nay, you seek to do... Sorry, what you seek to do is destroy. Should the Bakufu fall, Hingashi would be plunged into another age of blood. I agree, Nod. So, blood will flow, aye, but it will serve to nourish and strengthen a new nation. One that is free of the corruption that tainted the old. What we now, what we have now is not peace, but stag stagnance. Hingashi is become a morass of decay, and we samurai must be the tsunami that washes it clean to make way for true peace. A samurai fights to ward off chaos, not to create it. Have you forgotten Master Masose's teachings? Clearly my breath is wasted on you, but what of the others? Will you remain mindless slaves to the uh, uh, Bakufu, or will you join me and bring about true change? Disappointing. I had hoped some of you would see sense, but if we must fight, then so be it. I have no desire to seal blood needlessly. Let us settle this away from the masses on the Isle of Beko, your people against mine. Though, if I may make an observation, it seems you want four blades, dear sister, now that your men are aware of our connection. Huh. So, hear me, my comrades. As leader of the first squad, I have been chosen to carry on Captain Congo's legacy. The battle against Ugetsu promises to be bloody, but come what may, we must prevail. The future of Ingashi rests upon us. Okay, so let's talk to Makoto, and hopefully soon I'll be able to do the level 70 quest for Samurai. So forgive me Mifri, but it is all true. Ugetsu is my older brother, and Kagetsu is my birth name, though I have long cast it aside. We were born into a Samurai family in the capital, Bukyo. From a tender rage, Ugetsu showed me tremendous talent as a swordsman, and everyone knew him as a child prodigy. But to me, he was always a, a kind and caring brother. I was proud of him, and I couldn't have been prouder when the legendary Masose took him as a pupil. Then he took to the road for his training, and I never saw him again. It was a different man who returned. Instead of easy smiles, he wore frowns. Instead of good-natured quipping, he engaged in heated triads directed at the Bakufu and the Great Lords. There was so much anger, but more than that, there was despair, despair for his country. Not long thereafter, he parted ways with Master Musose and began instructing me in the katana. As far back then, I believe he harbored the dream of toppling the Bakufu, and so he instilled in me the skills to survive in a war-ravaged world. In time, I came into my own as a samurai. And then it happened. My brother assassinated high-ranking officers of the Bakufu, and our family was made to pay the price. Our line was ordered white from existence. My parents were summarily executed, and it was only by chance I escaped their fate. Out on the streets and without a home, I journeyed to Kugane. 
I adopted the name Makoto and knocked on the uh, Sexagumi's door with but one purpose in mind, punishing Ugetsu. We may share the same blood, but I can never forgive him, for our parents' blood is on his hands. But for all my determination, I am no match for my brother, and while his cause grows in strength, mine only weakens. In our culture, people are defined first by their birth, and the revelation that I am kin to Getsu has shaken my men's faith in me. They may not accept my authority, even though the captain willed it. And with him gone, there is naught I may depend upon, save my own conviction, and you, Mifri. Even should it cost me my life, I swear to end my brother's ambition. I pray that you will stand with me through this trying time. Cool. That's complete. Okay. So this story will end, obviously, at level 70. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.